what's good family we back again with another video um let's see what's new as we get taking care of finals uh whole week trying to take care of finals knocked out a couple of classes got some pretty decent grades i'm not gonna lie you know i would like that 4.0 but you know sometimes you gotta take a b you know sometimes you gotta take an l or two uh, all in all today was just i mean this week wrapped up uh an amazing amazing uh uh finals um you know that happened that that, that got taken care of and wrapped up an amazing s semester which is the conclusion of my freshman year of college taking care of just making a lot of boss moves and just it was very successful you know and i learned a whole lot you know i brought a whole lot of knowledge with me brought my experience brought some diversity brought just some different mindsets to a lot of situations and just happy just to be a part of uh, post-secondary education and, and not be a statistic and, and, and not be a narr another negative stereotype that they can try to show in the news and try to promote as being a norm for black males. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I am with my t-shirt say I told you I was going to wear a t-shirt in one of my upcoming videos. Black man, the definition of a black man, the original man on earth, which you know, native male and African descent, love, honor, and respect to black women. I protect him and provide his family one life uh, has more value than depicted by society. You know, get this t-shirt. 20 bucks. Uh, 20 bucks on uh, the Soul C uh, apparel on Etsy. I may leave the description. And I may leave it. I'll probably leave the company name in the description box below. Great company. Handwritten letter with generic packaging. Same just has a deal. I want to give them all shirts. I'm sure about $10 for two. But $10 dollars uh, each, I mean, just an incredible sale, uh, ran by incredible, uh, business women, great lady. But anyway, uh, to today is Mother's Day, so, uh, shout out to all the mothers, uh, to all my brothers watching, and make sure you tell your mother, sisters, grandma, aunt, nieces, whoever, you know, a woman got a kid, tell them happy Mother's Day, you know, uh, tell them thank you for bringing, you know, tell your mother individually for bringing your life into this world, if anybody else, you know. Who it is. Uh, so, have mostly to all the modes out there. Shout out to my mother. You know, um, just I can't express how much mothers, particularly in our community, what they mean to us. You know, without being a lot of most of the stuff that's happening right now, um, uh, wouldn't even be happening. You know, uh, let's get just hop right into it. Uh, like second, I talked earlier about finals just a few seconds ago, prior one minute ago, prior almost ran to get into a rant. Um, and uh, I basically just wanted to say, what's next after finals? I think that this is an excellent video, one that probably should have been done two, three weeks ago, but we're doing it now. We can't worry about time. Oh, yeah, also, if I get into it, I did uh, unlock and uh, uh, make uh, public begin the Drake views from the six. Um, videos, I, I I locked them just because I didn't have the, I don't want to say the confidence, but I just didn't have the the emotion or the feeling to, to make them public. I thought that I did something wrong. I just didn't feel confident in it. But when I watched the video several times over, we got some feedback. Uh, they say that the video was gold and, and that I, there's no reason I shouldn't take it down. So I do apologize. And even to myself, because that video probably would have gotten a lot more views and would have opened up a lot more people's eyes and I should have struck why the iron was hot, but we can't go back and look at the past. The past is the past. And the only thing we do is learn from our mistakes. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, like I said, I should have made this video a couple of weeks ago, but we're making it now. We're just going to run through a couple of things you need to do or should do um, uh, this summertime uh, uh, as you go into it and through the school. So you're through the school. Now, you may be in college like me. I'm taking classes uh, during the summertime, just trying to graduate as fast as possible. Uh, so if you are in college and taking summer classes, uh, that's great. That's one of the very first things and one of the best things that you can do possible if you are, you know, in college is to take some summer classes. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, build your GPA up if, you, if it's a little low, you know, or maintain it if it's a little bit higher. You know, if it's a really, really tough class that you have to drop, you know, you can definitely take it in the summertime and concentrate on that one class and just really just knock it out the park. You know, keep your mind active, keep your mind ready, keep your mind in a school and detail schedule orient, oriented mind where you don't come into it. Uh, like I really messed up last semester. I started off extremely slow um, on the spring semester because 
it I had a layover uh from the fall semester. We had like what three four weeks out uh for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So basically, how it was it was scheduled for me. I had basically gotten so far ahead in all my classes that I really wasn't much left for me to do but take finals and, and a couple other things. So for me, when I started the um, spring semester, I was just not in the mood not in the mindset to study and take classes and sit down. You know how motivated and self-motivated and headstrong I am. But I had kind of, you know, trying to handle some things on the business end and trying to promote the Brown Brother and do so many things and just trying to make other ends and aspects of my life as successful as possible. I wouldn't say I slacked, but I kind of had a slow start and I had to find my way of getting into the rhythm where I had, where I was doing 50-50, putting, uh, putting most of my time and effort into school, but at the same time, using all my spare time for uh, the business and personal end to now having to go um, uh, do complete school 100% or use some of the vice versa and had to figure out a way to organize myself. So summer school is a great option. You don't fall out of rhythm. You can kind of figure things out and continue to go so forth and so on. Number two, I say it to all my middle schoolers, and before I even head to high school, because my high school list is probably a little bit even longer than my college list, to all my middle schoolers, definitely if you can take advantage of some tutoring, getting yourself in some mentorship programs, uh, uh, go do something where you're around some older, uh, uh, more mature uh, set of black males. They always say that the number one um, uh, uh, time for black males uh, to get into trouble or get in, uh, or something to happen to them, whether that be um, physical harm or incarceration or anything is during summer and post after school, meaning after school, after three o'clock and on weekends, in particular the summertime. So just stay out, you know, harm's way. People are going to be hot, they're going to be agitated, particularly if you live in a certain environment, a certain surrounding. And that don't shake and anything happen anywhere, but you understand what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking to my, all my real brothers now. You know, people more agitated during the summertime. So just try to, you know, figure out something. You know, don't, you ain't got, I'm not saying stay in the house, but get somewhere where you're around a structured, organized program situation. You know, go volunteer. If you're 14, 15 years old, go try to go volunteer somewhere. I like to say again, try to go get in a basketball camp. Try to do whatever you possibly can, but just stay out the streets this summertime. Do the best you can. Try to volunteer. Try to so get you a job. I don't, I don't even know what's the age now, but I know in, in, in my hometown or where I reside uh, currently, they do have some programs and stuff for like kids uh, under the age of 17 for summertime. They can help them find little jobs and internships. So just keep your eye out for as many things like that as possible and try to get involved in that instead of getting involved in the unstructured situation because when life becomes unstructured and unorganized, some bad things can creep up and you, they always got traps set up to fall for you to fall in, particularly as a young black male. It's ugly, it's bad, it's terrible, but it's just the way life is. And the only thing you can do is just watch out for them and do the best you can and stay out of trouble. So definitely try to get into the program. So I'm a high schooler. Try to get some work experience. And again, like I said, again, volunteering is a great thing to do. Like I said, again, just with the middle school, it's the same way with y'all, a little bit older. You know, of course, you may not listen to what I got to say, but definitely take it into deep consideration and try to do it the best way you can. All right, try getting some organizations, some programs. Try to see what's, what's happening in your hometown and in your neighborhood. See what's going on. Try to get volunteer with a community uh, garden, a community center. Do whatever you can. Stay out of trouble. Like I said, again, don't, you know, the worst thing you can possibly do is try to, you know, uh, hang out this summer because, like I said, again, some crazy things going on in times and, and, and life ain't getting nothing but worse. So, you know, do all you can. Do some tutoring as well because they say that you lose over 40% of everything you learned the year before, the semester before, during the summertime. So, uh, yeah, the movies are cool, you know, hey, the girls are great, everything, you know, is, it is what it is. But at the same time, you know, try to keep your mind straight. Remember that you got a, um, a job to complete, a goal to accomplish. You got uh, 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 things that you need to set. You know, you don't want to be in those statistics of why they didn't work hard this semester. Tutor, you know, uh, rent books from the library, read as much as you can. That's what made me a great student. I went from being a mediocre student to being a great student for the simple fact that I began to read. And unfortunately, uh, I, I, I seen the huge difference from last semester or the year semester before that, my fall semester and this semester. I didn't read nearly as much as I should have. And uh, I definitely seen a, uh, a, a decreased 
and, and, and a regression in some of my thoughts and some of my uh, 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 skills as a human being. So I'm definitely going to get back on the read. Now, uh, that's what's in the YouTube channel is so great here because we're going to do a Brown Brother uh, Book of the Month. And as soon as I finish probably doing this video, I'm probably going to go jump into it, do the Book of the Month. So as soon as you get this book, it's easy to find in any library. Or I'm sure most of your libraries have a... Um, uh, uh, rent thing where you can rent it from one library and, 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 and get it checked in and check that at, the, at your current uh, closest library. So I'm going to definitely do one of those. But you have to just read a lot. Uh, uh, try to get some program. Try to volunteer. Do some work experience. Try to pad your college applications as much as you can. Try to get into as much good things as possible. So you can go to school and hopefully get some scholarships. That's another thing. If you're in high school, I don't care if you're freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, try to get them scholarships up. You know, definitely try to go into college. You know, a lot of folks do some scholarships during the summertime, and by the time they're through with it, they junior year going into their senior year, their college is already paid for because they did some scholarships and taking care of some situations. You know, get your FAFSA situation taken care of, get your college application situation taken care of. You know, just try to get in the mindset of bigger and better things, you know. And, you know, anything you can do, like I said, again, just stay out of trouble, be safe in whatever you do, physical, spiritual, anything and everything you do, be safe, practice safe everything, not just one thing, you know, but uh, you know what I'm saying, but practice everything safe. There's no time to take no risk unless it has something to do with, um, you know, being successful. But I'm talking seriously, you know, just, just be cool, be safe, stay right, you know. And just stay out of harm's way this semester, you know, definitely, you know, look out for each other. I'm praying for you, you pray for me. Like I say again, you know, summers ain't no joke. Um, and to all my college students, uh, like I say again, just work, you know, uh, uh, definitely do scholarships. Well, there's a lot of scholarships out there for college students, uh, current college students. Um, um, definitely continue to tutor, study, math with your weakest subject. Like I say again, definitely think about taking a college class this semester, try and get your uh, skills up. I know uh, my school is personally offering uh, uh, a free prep class to all people who are taking remedial classes to try to prepare them and pre try to prepare and propel them when it's time for them to take uh, intermediate or regular college courses. So if, they, if your school is definitely offering something like that, definitely take advantage of that. Uh, I no such shame of it's going to summer school. It's definitely, you know, try to handle your business the best way you can. Like I say again, just keep padding application, trying to look for bigger and better things. Try to definitely even get into a mentorship program. If you mature enough in the mind where you know you can do great things in the community, try to seek and you yourself. Be a mentor in a program, you know, maybe start one yourself, but definitely if there's already an established organization that's mentoring young black males, definitely try to get involved with that. Then you can kind of network with those mentors and you can become a mentee. And you can become a mentor to the younger generation, but even that next set of mentors, you'll find a whole nother level of mentors. You see what I'm saying? You understand what I mean? Uh, amongst those who organize and, and a little bit older inside the program to mentor other young black males. So, you know, just definitely take care of things. You know, sometimes no time to waste. Yeah, it's time to, you know, cruise and enjoy and eat all the food you want to eat and do this and do that and, you know, holler at girls, whatever. That's great. You know, but at the same time, if you got goal in mind, you know, don't don't slip, you know, don't fall off track. Remember why you're here. You know why I'm here. Remember why you're here. You see what I'm saying? Everything. If you're trying to get in shape, you can't be out there eating no ice cream sandwiches. I don't care how hot it is. If you're trying to get in shape, you can't be out there eating you no know, ribs and, 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 and potato salad and everything. But if you do eat it, you know, eat it once a week. You can't be out there eating it every day. You see what I'm saying? If you in football, if you playing football, you know, you know you can't be out here gaining 20, 30, 40 pounds. You know, sit up here coming back with a pot belly. You know, you got to sit up here and you got to eat right and you got to train and you got to work out daily and you got to do all you can. Be the best teammate you can possibly be. If you got younger siblings, be the best big brother you can possibly be. Whatever it is, if you got a, if you got a goal in mind or you actually want to accomplish something in life and just not talk about it but be about it, you got to make sacrifices. And not only above sacrifices and not even about that because sacrifice make it seem as though you're suffering. But even above sacrifice, you got to make strategic plans, details, great ideas, be goal-oriented, be smart, be educated, be mindful, and be aware of each and every situation you get yourself in. 
But that shit, I just wanted to make this quick video, 15 minutes, just everything you can do, but I'm going to leave the, the thing in the description below. I may even try to post a blog this week, because that's just where I'm feeling. You know, I'm out of school, feeling great, you know, things going, you know, hey, bad as well, we can ask them, not great, but we getting there, you know. So, peace, and I'm on to the next one. All right.